the vaccine rollout is well underway. In December, the US Food and Drug Administration approved two COVID-19 vaccines. Both Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna's candidates are a two-shot regimen. But several studies, including one at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York, suggest one shot might be enough for COVID-19 survivors. One shot to population that has already had the COVID uh, infection, they really were able to show the same level of antibodies as uh, people who didn't have COVID and who got the second shot. The US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warned that a COVID-19 variant first detected in the UK may be the dominant strain in the US by the end of March. The vaccines currently available in the US appear to provide protection against the virus, but health experts say it would be premature to start cutting doses. We aren't really sure whether it is going to be completely protective, and I would rather like they be fully protected against any variants that are going to come in. The UK has opted to delay second doses, whether you've had COVID-19 or not, in a bid to provide more of the population with a first jab. The US hasn't adopted that approach, and some healthcare professionals say it would be premature to change tactics based on these recent studies. The question is, can you make a policy change in the absence of clinical trials? Um, these are observational studies that uh, are very important and usually uh, very rigorously performed, but it's not a true clinical trial. With vaccine supplies limited, authors from one of the studies suggest people that have had COVID-19 be moved down the priority list after receiving a first shot. But President Biden's chief medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says all Americans may be eligible for the vaccine by the spring. If supply ramps up, health experts believe the nation can stay the course with the two-shot-for-all regimen. William Denzelow, CGTN, New York.